Hi guys, welcome back to the safe place that is my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Diamond and I thought today I would do something a little different. Um, I'm not doing a tutorial today. Uh, it's something yeah, quick and easy I thought I would do a get to know me tag because why not? I have the questions here on my laptop like so if you see me looking over there it's because I'm looking at my laptop for the questions and oh but please do let me know if you would like to see I want to get closer here, if you would like to see a tutorial on this look um, because I feel like it's very it is a very fall look and I know everybody's doing their fall looks everybody's doing their Halloween looks and I'm like uh, 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 school um I will probably insert uh, a picture here uh, there of a Halloween look that I did last year I was uh, I did like a skull makeup if you like to see me recreate that look please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below and also if you would like to see me do a tutorial on this look because this look is very full pumpkin spice latte esque just full which I love. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get into the video for you. <laughs> so the first question is, what is my middle name? My middle name is Nicole. Uh, I feel like a lot of girls have that middle name. Uh, my favorite color, I have a lot of favorite colors. I picked up favorite colors throughout the years of my life. And um, as I feel like as the years gone on, they've get, gotten darker. Uh, so, when I was younger, my favorite color was pink. I, I still like pink, but like I can't wear it. And I think my parents don't know that I don't like pink as much anymore. So they still buy me a lot of pink stuff. Now it's kind of gotten to maroon. I really like burgundy. Like I have a bunch of burgundy. I love burgundy. Wearing burgundy eyeshadow, burgundy lipstick. I just love it so much. And I really like lilac. Like I would love to have my hair lilac. It's such a pretty color um, and black because I wear I literally wear black all the time just today you caught me on one of my off days I'm not wearing black I don't I have on my sweater I love this color too this is really nice like I'm really just into fall colors like I guess it just speaks to my soul because I like really scary stuff really kind of spooky stuff I don't know but if I ever see a ghost my soul will ascend I will just literally collapse like I don't know I, I, I like watching scary movies and like paranormal stuff, but if I ever experience it firsthand, no thank you, I die. Next question is cats, cats or dogs? I like both. I had two cats when I was younger, both of them passed away. Their names were Mexi and China, and um, I never had a dog, but I do have a turtle and his name is Simba, so. How many countries have you visited? Um. I think I've been to about maybe three so far because I've been to England, I've been to Jamaica, and I've been to France, well, Paris. Um, and so yeah, I would love to go to many more places like Barcelona, I really wanna go to Rome, I really wanna go to uh, Thailand, Greece, uh, where's the, the countries and like, South America, um, Brazil, uh, Bolivia, uh, this is like a lot of places that I want to go to and I haven't even, yeah, there's so much more that I want to go to. Are you in or have you gone to college? I am. I am currently in college. I had graduated from a two year and took a break because I was just, I literally didn't know what I wanted to do with my life and I, I kind of panicked because my major is um, well my major now is multimedia but before going to my current school that I'm at I was just uh, theater or uh, performing arts and I think in the theater business is I just have panic attacks all the time I was just like why did I choose to do this like Oh my god, this, they say all the time this is not a stable job. You'll never have a stable job. You'll never have a stable job, but whatever. It's what I love to do, and, and it's, it's a part of who I am. It makes me happy, so I just have to, like, this out of my hair. What is that? I see you. I see you, villain. I see you, villain! I see you with your fucking villain mustache! 
if you got that reference, that is from Sense 8. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of people are triggered by hearing Sense 8 because I know it, it's coming to an end and we only get a two hour special. That's bull crap. Okay, now you guys know that I like Sense 8. I'll give you next seg segue. What is my favorite TV shows? I binge watch TV shows like there is no tour. I really have no life. I, I love TV. Like it's that's why my my major is multimedia because I love film and TV so much. So I watch a crap ton of it. And um, so shows that I'm watching like there's like shows on Netflix like Stranger Things. Of course, like I really love Stranger Things. Um, Sense Eight. Uh, What's, there's like a new show on Netflix that's really good. It's called Vandalism or, or American Vandal or something like that. So, so good. <laughs> it's so entertaining. Um, trying to think what else on Netflix. I've seen every single episode of Friends. Like, I feel highly accomplished doing that. Uh, but shows on, on TV, I watch like American Horror Story. I watch uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, Supernatural, I have to catch up on Supernatural, but I really like Supernatural if, I don't know, I just love Jensen Ackles, if I could meet him, I would, my life would be probably complete. Um, oh, what other shows? There's a lot of other shows. Please comment below your favorite show and I probably watch it. And if I don't watch it, I will try to because I'm always open to trying and watching new things because I love TV. Who says it rots your brain? That shit is educational, I don't care. Um, what was your favorite and worst subject in high school? First of all, I am so at math. I, I hate math so much. I even, it's carried into my adulthood. Uh, adult. <laughs> but it's carried into my adulthood and I hate math so much. Like I hate, um, like even when I was I was work I used to work at Barnes and Nobles. Even when I was working there, I hated like giving exact change. Like when somebody would give me, like be like, oh I have like extra nickel. I was like, uh, I have to do math, and and it just it made me like uh, be so under pressure. And then I feel like I give them their wrong change, and it's just I hate math so much. My favorite subject in school was. Well, I mean, my school was like, a, I went to a school that had, that was specific for um, the arts. So uh, I was a drama major and I guess that was my favorite subject for obvious reasons. I'm very dramatic. What is your favorite animal? Okay, I love this question so much because maybe I could show you guys my tattoo. But, um, oh, and yes, I have tattoos. Bam, here's one, here's another. And I have another one on my side. And I just recently got an elephant on my ankle because elephants are my favorite animals in the whole entire world. I love, love, love them. I feel like if I was an animal, I would be an elephant um, only because they're so beautiful and graceful, but they're like giant. And I mean, I'm a tall girl, but I'm not super tall, I'm 5'7". And, um, they're so graceful and beautiful and intelligent and, and just everything that I kind of see in myself, so. Are you single or taken? Ha 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 ha. I am forever alone. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have three siblings. I am the youngest out of all three, <laughs> which means I'm the favorite. <laughs> I have two sisters and one brother. How would you describe your fashion sense? I don't know. My friends call me a damn hipster and I don't wanna be a hipster because hipsters. I guess I would just say my fashion sense is trendy. I like keeping up with the trends, it's very bad. I, well, I mean, but I make it my own. I think that a lot of girls ask me like, uh, where I get my stuff from. But I get my stuff from like generic stores like Forever 21 and I get my stuff from H&M. But like I turn it into my own, I guess just how I pair stuff together. Um, also, I do some thrift shopping. So yeah, I could show you guys stuff that I've gotten from thrift shops. Uh, and people always ask me where I get my stuff from because I don't know. 
I guess just being, I am, I am a bigger woman. I am whatever, thick, plus size, fat, whatever you want to say. Um, so I think a lot of just girls are really interested to, because in generic stores, like, Forever 21 is extra sometimes, and they just, like, finding clothes in there is like a friggin' lottery. You, once in a lifetime, once in a blue moon, you'll find something good. But, um, do you speak any different languages and how well? Um, I am in the process of learning Norwegian, um, only because I was super obsessed with a TV show called Scam. I'll insert some pictures here, here, maybe over my face. But um, yeah, I was super obsessed with this TV show called Scam and it's so amazing and they spoke Norwegian and I never understood anything. And I was just like, hey, let me learn Norwegian. So um, I guess like I'm in the process of learning Norwegian. I'm still kind of at the basics of basics and like a little ahead. Um, please don't ask me to say anything Norwegian. Okay, well, I mean, sure, I'll say it. Uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it do, which means I like you. Um, uh, yeah, I speak said recent, recent. I don't know. I don't. Please. Oh my god, that was horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If anyone in Norwegian is out there watching this, I'm so sorry. I butchered your language. I am still learning. I am in the process of learning. My bad. What is my favorite movie? Okay, so my favorite movie is Interview with the Vampire with Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise. Like, that's like my favorite movie. I could watch it every day, all day. Um, because why the hell not? Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt are in it and they're vampires and they look so beautiful. And, and the story too. It's really cool. Um, yeah, like I'm into, like I said, like I'm into stuff like that. I'm really, I really love scary movies so much. Also, wait. Oh, let me say, for favorite movie, like, another favorite movie, Harry Potter. I am such a Harry Potter head, and I love that Harry Potter refuses to die. I, I love that this fandom refuses to die. Like, every, like, I went in Barnes & Noble's, like, recently, and there was still so much Harry Potter, like, merchandise and stuff that's being sold, and, like, um, Freeform, they were called ABC Family, we're Freeform now. They do like the Harry Potter weekend all the damn time. Well, also, if you guys are wondering what house I am in, forget Pottermore. I took the quiz and I got Gryffindor, but I do not feel like a Gryffindor. I am a straight up Slytherin. And I know that Slytherin is like looked at as bad, but do your research. Look up the characteristics of a Slytherin. It's not all bad. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I think that's a really good question. First, I gotta give a huge shout out. My favorite YouTuber ever is Auntie Jackie. Miss Jackie Ina. I love her so much. If I ever got the chance to meet her, I'd probably just stare at her and then just cry silently to myself. I don't really know, but I, I love her. I think she's amazing. I think she's very, she's very real and she's very, sticks to her ideals and to what she thinks is right and calls these brands out on their bull crap because we in 2017 girl get your life together these brands out here with their 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 colors their like just no like no people like a shade darker than me like that's not it for how deep blackness goes how deep melanin goes so get it together honey like do your research and I, I just love her another one is dominique a i believe her name is she's like literally my twin like we don't really look alike in the face but like everything else like me and her and she just she just knows like so i love her too what sports do you play slash have played um when i was younger i did a little bit of basketball and then i was like no and then um, I really, really like badminton. I think I'm saying it right. But like, it's like lazy tennis. I always said that if I could go to the Olympics, I go to the Olympics for badminton because I'm beast in that game. It's lazy tennis, like I'm lazy. Tea or coffee? I could drink both. Both. Who was your first best friend? So my first best friend in the whole entire world, her name is Daisy. Yeah. You guys will probably see her on this channel. I kind of want to do a best friend tag. 
um, with her and my other best friend named Carla. So you'll probably be seeing them super soon. And how I met Daisy was I met her when I was four and she was six. I'm 22 years old right now. And yeah, so we've known each other a very long time and we've, we've literally grown up together. Um, love you very much, Daisy. She's probably gonna be watching this. So I think that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, like I said before, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and share this with your friends and your family. I mean, if you want to. Um, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>